Hey guys, so recently made a video talking about setting up this uh, fake Tarsier Eclipse, kind of the Chinese knockoff version of it for a lot cheaper. You know, adjustable iris, kind of lens cap replacement um, for PBS 14. This is kind of a supplemental video to that. We'll be talking about uh, what this actually looks like and what uh, it really does when you have the aperture open and closed and what it actually looks like under nods. So what we'll do, I will cut off the lights here in my basement. It's not going to be a perfect representation of what it's going to be like in the wilderness or wherever you are, um, but kind of gives you a, a good representation. So I have an eye chart set up about 10 feet away. That's a, pretty much the furthest distance I can get down here. So I'm just going to set up the PVS-14 on a tripod. I will mount my phone up to it and uh, we'll look into it further uh, from there. We are about eight feet away from the eye chart here. The aperture is all the way open. What I'm just going to do here is slowly close it down. And you can see as I close it, we lose some FOV. We definitely lose some light transmission, but as we close it down, we can kind of find a sweet spot there. And you can see the eye chart is readable and in focus. So. Uh, if you don't want to adjust your focus in that shallow depth of field um, to read a sign that's a set distance away or something like that, you can just widen uh, your depth of field by adjusting the iris. It also works for if you want to read something far away and also see something that's up close. So something up close is readable and something far away is readable. Obviously, in a case like this, you would want some sort of supplemental illumination, either a full moon or um, some sort of IR task light or illuminator, um, something like that. But you can see we can read something very close and something far away. Both of those are pretty readable. And then we'll just go ahead and open it back up and return to our normal, very shallow depth of field. Now in this demonstration, set the depth of field to the eye chart. Um, so there's a very shallow depth of field at the eye chart. So you can see that something up close is very unreadable. We can then, just like before, close the aperture down so that both are readable. Obviously, you lose a lot of light transmission here, but both pieces of text at two different distances are readable because we have widened our depth of field so much by shrinking the aperture. This is also a good opportunity to show the uh, differences in the LLI filters. This is an Elbit uh, XLS Gen 3 green phosphor tube. This is with the LLI filter on, and this is with the LLI filter off. This is just the normal tube, um, as you would see it without a filter. We'll just repeat the same demonstration with closing. Um, so we'll set the focus back to infinite. So we're at infinite focus, and we'll shrink down the aperture by closing the iris. And as you can see, without the LLI filter, with this all the way closed, you get a lot more light transmission um, because that purple filter is blocking out a lot of the green light to give you that white phosphor look. You're missing out on a lot of light hitting your eye, and so we stayed at infinite focus the whole time, but just by shrinking that aperture, that eye chart is now completely readable. Even though our FOV has shrunk significantly and our light transmission has also decreased significantly, um, in a pinch you can easily read that eye chart and then return back to infinite focus without having to actually adjust the focus of your PVS-14.